Healing Beta. In addition to the effects of Healing Alpha, this cures poisonings, nausea, feeling strange and uncontrollable crying for the PP cost of 8. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, we made our way into Belch Base after visiting Saturn Valley. In this area, we discovered that most of the Mr. Saturns from Saturn Valley are in bondage. They're slaves here at Belch Base, chained up at the hands or slime of these dirty, slimy little piles. And that's not an insult, because sl slimy little pile is actually these things' name. So I'm not insulting them at all, I'm just stating a fact. This time, we're going to be freeing the Mr. Saturns from that slavery while gaining a couple levels, and by a couple I mean a lot, in the process. And it all starts with the Foppies, because the Foppies give a lot of experience. Now, the, you might notice, well, eagle-eyed viewers will notice that my experience is slightly higher than when I ended off last episode. Uh, if you did notice that, then the fact is that I had to go back to Saturn Valley in between episodes to save, and in the process I ended up fighting a violent roach, and that gave me like 400 experience. But also, I went back to Saturn Valley to rest up, save, and have Jeff fix his broken spray can, so we now have two defense sprays in our inventory, which is something I can get behind. Let's see, let's attack the random ones. So, while this happens, because I would like to farm as quickly as possible, but I also don't want to just talk about the farming, because that's incredibly boring, uh, stuff that's happening in my life. Um, I'm finishing up my senior year of high school, which is crazy, and also Ness's level is now 25. His defense went up by 1, IQ went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 3, maximum PP went up by 5. Paul's level is now 21, offense went up by 1, IQ went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 3, maximum PP went up by 5. Paul realized the power of offense up alpha. Uh, my, my little talk is about to go on hiatus because offense up alpha is an assist ability that will raise one person's offense for the duration of the current battle. It is most effective when you use this effect, this power, multiple times to layer it, and it has a PP cost of 10, which is neat. I could see that working into a really good combo where you have Ness use Psychic Shields on Paula while she raises offense and he bashes. That could work. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, I'm about to finish my senior year of high school, which is amazing because I never thought this day would come. Like, the times are changing for me. I'm kind of nervous, too, because it's going to affect the channel. If I'm going to college uh, this year, it's going to ha affect the channel in some way or another. So I want to I see if I can possibly <laughs> keep the channel alive while I go to college. That's going to, be, that's going to be hard, but I'm going to do my hardest to make that happen. I've also gotten some requests to do different Let's Plays. Um, one of them was Mother 3, and... I can answer this right now. I answered it in the comment, but I feel like I should address it here. I do plan on playing all of the Mother games on the channel, if the channel survives college. It better, because I I enjoy this. Uh, I enjoy Let's Playing more than I enjoy most anything else. It's been a really good hobby for me. It's healthy for me, I think. And um, so I'm going to try to keep it alive, and if I do, then Mother, mother Games Ahoy. Jeff's level is now 22. Oh, defense, or, yeah, offense went up by one. IQ went up by one. Maximum HP went up by three. Another game that I was requested to do uh, was Toilet Princess, and to that I answer, eh, yeah, I will at some point. But I, here's the thing. When, um, since I'm going to college, and my sister, who Nova, who is older than me. Um, it has been going to college for a year now. I'm thinking that whatever I'm going to do, it's going to be, it's going to be with her. Um, I mean, I could have kept, I originally intended to keep these plans secret, but I, I plan to do something with her and a lot of pal play, pals play over the summer because this is, you know, this is the last year of my childhood, essentially. Oh, well, that's a lot of foppies. And I want to make sure that I can get, oh, let's use this, and then have Paula use that. I want to make sure that, I don't know, I I make the most of it while it lasts, because after me, Ryan, Nova, and Dave go to college, you know, it's, childhood's going to be over, and much of 
the things that we can do are not going to be an option anymore, and Pals Play might be one of them. So I'm going to try to get as many Pals Play in while they last. Um, and then just see where things crumble. I, I don't really know why this came to mind. Maybe because I'm, you know, I am finishing out the school year as, or, like, before, or as I'm recording this, I guess. Uh, let's see. Paul's level's now at 22. Maximum HP went up by 2. PP went up by 2. But Toilet Princess is a game that I want to do, but I want to do it solo. And if I'm doing, if I'm doing co-op Let's Plays, then I don't want to do Toilet Princess as a co-op, because I want to take that game seriously. And Mother 3, when I play that, it's going to be a game that I highly recommend that other people get, or download, or whatever, before they they watch the Let's Play, because from what I've heard, Mother 3 is a game that should be best experienced firsthand, not in a Let's Play, and, you know, my first experience will be the Let's Play, which is interesting. Um, I've read up some on the game, so I think I know the basic premise of it, but otherwise, I'm completely in the dark, so that'll be interesting. Once again, I'm just trying to find things to talk about while I I grind here because I don't want to talk about the grinding. That's that's not something I want to have you endure. Let's see. Um, Ness is 25. I want to get Paula and Jeff up to 23, which two more battles should do that. I want to get them to 23 before we move on. Hello. <laughs> really? Well, that's that's really weird. We faced one and it's only one. Okay, let's kill this guy and. Go to his friends. Maybe the other ones aren't his friends. Maybe they're just like, Hey, bro, go to the front lines. We'll back you up. And then, when that time comes, they don't actually back him up. Okay, I think I could actually do bash attacks here. I don't need to waste my PP. Even though there's an infinite spot coming up, I may have to fight my way up to that spot. So, let's just bash and get through this battle really quickly. Attacking does 9 damage to Paula. Oh no, it's horrible! The... <laughs> Tragedy of the 9 damage. And 1300 experience. Ness's level is now 26. Offense went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 4. Maximum PP went up by 2. Jeff's level is now 23. Defense went up by 1. A speed went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 2. And now we just need one more level for Paula. And then we can move on with our lives. Because our lives are something that should be moved on to 4. Since it's a new chapter in my life. That's that's another thing. Like anyone who is going through high school, and you know they're worried about the future. Like I I totally hear you because I'm finishing out my senior year of, of high school, and I'm going. Actually, this is this is a good story. Um, I'm going to be pursuing video editing at college, which is insane. In fact, I'm surprised I haven't mentioned this before, because it just never entered my mind as something I would mention on the channel. I'm going to be pursuing video editing um, in college, and the only reason why I'm doing that is because of this channel, which I find to be infinitely crazy and slightly ironic, because something I, I took I never did before a year ago is something I'm pursuing as my life, my long-term profession, my career, which... I don't know, I haven't thought about it really this way before, and haven't put it into words, but it's insane that the channel has done that for me. Okay, offense went up by two, guts went up by one, luck went up by one, maximum HP went up by one, maximum PP went up by two. Also, we insta-killed two enemies there. Not sure if you noticed that. Oh wait, Paula's level is now 23. Okay, we can move on. Awesome, I'm not sure how many minutes we've wasted. I've, I think I've wasted like 10 minutes, which is sad, but we'll move on, and I'll finish Belch Base before the episode ends, no matter how long it takes. So let's make sure we do it in a quick manner. And that's my definition of a quick manner, because I skipped that battle. Wait, oh, that's an enemy? Really? Really? Slimy little pile. Okay. Uh, let's use Freeze. Let's see, did Freeze? No, Freeze didn't work on it. Uh, Fire did. Yeah, fire, I think fire did. Let's use fire alpha, and Jeff, you just shoot it. Fire alpha connects, does 51 damage to it. Uh, it dodges, and it's not dead yet. Stinky breath happens. So pretty much the only way we're going to be killing this is with PSI. Let's use fire again, and have Jeff shoot it. Fire does not do it in. These things are pretty resilient. Like I gotta say, they don't do damage, but they make you cry, which is an annoying status ailment. 
Because it forces you to use PP. And our crying's cured. Let's skip them. I'm not interested in doing them. Actually, eh, let's talk to let's talk to the Mr. Saturn. Tired, but so good. Ding. No. Ah, so honest. Smile, boing. They don't seem that upset that they're in bondage and slavery and all that. Interesting. Maybe they're just happy wherever they go, like Brom from League of Legends. Okay, I'll skip this battle. And we carry onward right into a chain of execution, except it didn't work. Jeff levels now 24. Oh, baby. Offense went up by 3. Defense went up by 1. Oh, baby. Speed went up by 3. Guts went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. Oh, baby. IQ went up by 3. Luck went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 3. That was a fantastic level up. I didn't expect to get that. Okay, now I need to fight my way past this enemy because that door down there is something I need to go to. Uh, Paula, I found out Freeze Beta works really well on the slimy little piles. Just watch how much damage this does. It hits and does 240 damage. Yeah, so that's a really easy way to get the slimy little piles out of the way quickly. Okay, now let's go into the store because I believe... Am I correct in saying that this... Yes, this is the room. This room will give us an infinite amount of magic butterflies. So let's have this happen. Let's heal everyone. And heal everyone. And get some butterflies. Four magic butterflies later, I am back up to full health and full PP. Now there's a way to go back there, and I'm tempted to go, but... At the same time, I don't want to fight all of the enemies to get back, so let's not. Let's not do that. I believe the direction we need to go is up, so... Oh, boy. So I'm, I'm going to go left first because it seems like a dead end. Fight these foppies and hopefully kill them instantly. Or not. Paul attacks, does a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage, and Jeff attacks and does a lot more damage. Magnet Alpha doesn't work. And we finish off Foppy B and get a lot of experience. Man, the group is getting huge. Like, Paul is almost up to the triple digits of PP. That is crazy. <sighs> this is annoying. I'm fighting all these enemies. Uh, Bash Attack on you. Freeze Beta on you. Shoot on you. Mostly bad fly, take some damage, freeze beta, connects, comes in, defeats the slimy little pile instantly, and now Ness will attack and finish off the mostly bad fly. He's not entirely bad, just mostly bad. And is this it? No, it's not. But it's close. Aren't you the fly honey delivery boy? What's the password? It doesn't mean I don't trust you. Just say it. Say it now. Someone so quiet is either extremely shy or extremely dangerous. What a suspicious fellow. That's something I haven't done recently. I haven't had fun with voices, and I need to do that. Let's do some more funny voices after we kill him. With bash attacks, because I want to save my PP for the, the battle, the main battle of the shindigs. Crying comes in, of course it does. And we're going to miss all of our attacks, so go, let's go ahead and use freeze alpha. And finish him off. That does indeed do the trick. Neat. N and Ness's level's now 27. Offense went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 1. Maximum PP went up by 1. Ness realized the power of PSI Hypnosis Omega. I believe that's Omega. I could be wrong, but I'm 99% sure... Oh, wait, he's homesick. Oh. Well, I haven't called home in a while, so that makes sense. Uh, let's see... Let's look at that. Omega, there it is. So instead of using uh, hypnosis to one enemy, it does it to all enemies for the PP cost of 18. So if you're facing any more than three enemies, this will be PP, PP efficient, but usually you just want to use the single tar target attack. That's all I have to say about that. Let's go through this door. And face the big kahuna himself. That is Belch. But first, I want to make sure that my inventory is looking good. I have the jar of fly honey, which I'll need in this battle. That's what we've been holding it on, uh, holding onto it for. 
Uh, I have the defense spray, big bottle rocket. Yeah, things are looking good. Let's fight him. Burp. So, you're Ness. I see. Gjork, Gjork, Gjork. There's a prophecy that a boy will destroy Master Gygus. Hick, hick, hick. You make me laugh so hard. If Mr. Gygus is scared of someone, he would have to be worse than the greatest evil. Gar, 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 gar. I'll take you down big time, so get ready for the worst fight of your life. Ga ga ga. Get ready to feel the pain of true nausea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. That's my voice for him. I'm I'm still getting reacquainted with this having fun with voices thing. What what on earth is that? No, we're not bashing. I'm using my goods and jar of fly honey. Then I'm having Paula use freeze beta. And I won't have Jeff waste his big bottle rocket, but I will have him waste one of his small ones. Jeff fired the big bottle rocket, does 112 damage. Freeze Beta connects and does 270 damage. And now Jeff is nauseous. But we use the fly honey and now Belch has that, which he'll be distracted with that fly honey for the, the entire battle. Although, when he's not distracted with fly honey, he'll be distracted with hypnosis because it has a 99% chance of connecting. Next, we're going to have Paula reuse Freeze Beta. And Jeff, you can use... No, not your big bottle rocket. Just a normal bottle rocket. That should be good enough. And we might even finish him out this turn. He's solidified, and he's about to, uh, to take some hypnosis. Hypnosis Alpha comes out and puts him to sleep, because if it didn't, I would be sorely mad. Very sorely mad. Let's see, what else could we do? Well... Uh, Jeff being nauseated is kind of annoying, so let's use healing beta on Jeff, and then just keep those those free yeah those freeze betas coming. And Jeff, go ahead and shoot him, because I have a feeling freeze beta might finish him off. Nope, but it can't. It's probably close. It's probably a lot, uh, very very close. I almost said a lot close. Let's just keep bashing. Actually, dude, this is cool. Okay, bash and Paula. You use Offense Up on Ness. This is a cool idea. And Bash. Offense Alpha... Offense Up Alpha works. And please don't kill him. He lost his mind by wolfing down Fly Honey, and... J and Ness's basic attack did a lot more damage. That was an easy battle. And a lot of the bosses that we've faced thus far have had glaring weaknesses. But from here on out, I believe the enemies will be getting much harder. At least, that's how it seems to be in my opinion. Uh, 4,170 experience each. Paul's level is now 24. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 1. Oh, baby! Speed went up by 3. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 2. Maximum P HP went up by 5. Maximum PP went up by 6. Paula realized the power of PSI Magnet Omega. Looks like it was an even fight. Burp. But Master Gygus has managed to get the Mani Mani statue into Foreside. The city will soon be in worse condition than living in your own puke. Suffer, Spanky. Gyaha. Gyaha. ha ya ha ya 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 Burp. <laughs> Everything's much better when you announce it strangely like, hey, guys and gals, I am Pal and welcome back to Earthbound. That sounds hilarious. I, um, I escaped. Zoom. Burp. Boing. Goofy or goody. Burp. So I, I guess Belch is rubbed off on this guy. I mean, if he was behind Belch and Belch was that smelly, I mean, you never know. You worn down? Ah, boing. Burp. Barf. Stinky. P.U. Thank you for gracing me with that. Now, before I end off the episode, in fact, we have actually, wow, we have a lot of time left. Snap. I would like to go back into Belch Base because there's a way I didn't go. And I'm not sure, but the enemies should be gone now. Are they? Uh, it looks like the survey is saying yes. Yeah, they're gone. Okay, so let's go back through Belch, ga Belch Base and go grab the items that we missed because there are some, like through the store. There are a bunch of trash cans, and this enemy would be filled with enemies had we gone in here while, um, with Belch still alive. 
There's a calorie stick. Let's see, there is... An HP sucker! Oh, baby! Okay, HP sucker is one of my favorite items... No. Is one of my favorite items for Jeff. Use help here. Items for Jeff. Sucks up some HP from the target creature. The more HP an enemy has, the more you get. Can be used many times or infinite. Uh, let's give this to Jeff. This is really good. It now gives Jeff a way to heal himself, so he's almost completely independent from Ness and Paula for aid. He doesn't have any PP, so he doesn't need to um, work off the butterflies, and he doesn't necessarily need healing from Ness, meaning Ness can focus his healing on Paula. It's pretty nice, and if you're fighting easy enemies, instead of bashing with Jeff, you can use uh, the, the Hungry HP Sucker. And, is it called that? No, it's called the HP Sucker. And you can heal up Jeff when you're just fighting weak enemies. Okay, now the last tra trash can, I almost said treasure can, has a vital capsule. Okay, so it has vitality. Um, let's see, what does that raise? I mean, it raises vitality, but vitality does what? I forget. Oh, yeah, yeah, If your vitality's raised, that means you have more PP. Okay, then that means I'm going to give that to... Let's use that for Paula. Give Paula and Paula. I would. I'm a big fan of you having a bigger PP pool, so you use this on yourself. She used it, and uh, did her? Did we see an increase in her PP? I didn't really look at it before, but I believe it did. In fact, the maximum increased. So neat, and we got a calorie stick out of that, and we're not done because there's a little bit more that we haven't to explored in Belch Base. Uh, there's a lower level that we never went to. And there are all the, the cans, which are still stopping where the Mr. Saturns would have been. And there's also a door. With more trash cans in it. First trash can has an IQ capsule. I will give that to Jeff. Use on Jeff. IQ, his IQ went up by one, uh, by one. Actually, no, IQ... No, yeah, yeah, I was right. Okay, I, I thought <laughs> maybe IQ does the, the PP, but it doesn't. Okay, let's give the broken laser give to Jeff. That's a new weapon that he can get, and I'll give that to him. I'm not sure if it can be upgraded yet. I need to print out a chart of all the all of the items that can be upgraded at which uh, IQ levels, but I'll still give it to him, and I'll sleep when I get back to Saturn Valley, and maybe he'll fix it. I kind of doubt it, though. Because it, it's not a 100% chance of him fixing it. You have to sleep many times. Um, I believe for the for him to fix the bro broken spray can, I had to sleep like seven times. So, Okay, now that we got all the treasures from Belch Base, let's go back through this tunnel. And I believe, if I remember correctly, it leads out to Saturn Valley. Yes, it does. Here we are, at an area that we weren't able to go to before, I don't think. Uh, go in hot spring. W uh, wash barf off your body. Okay. Drink coffee before go? Say yes to me. Say no to me. Um, sure. Bottoms up, boing. Oh, I forgot about this. No, no, no. No. I can't skip this. Snap. Well... <laughs> If you drink coffee, you'll get this screen. And I didn't mean to do this because I was meaning to save it for the end slate. So... Snap. You've traveled very far from home. Do you remember how your long and winding journey began with some someone pounding at your door? It was Pokey, the worst person in your neighborhood, who knocked on the door that fateful night. So it it's kind of weird. They're not credits, but they're recapping the story, which is interesting. On your way, you have walked, thought, and fought. Yet, through all this, you have never lost your courage. You have grown steadily stronger, though you have experienced the pain of battle many times. I forget how long this is, but it I believe it's pretty lengthy, and I can't skip it, so I have to pay for my mistake. You are no longer alone in your adventure. Paula, who is steadfast, kind, and even pretty, is always at your side. Jeff is with you as well. Though he is timid, he came from a distant land to help you. Ness, as you certainly know by now, you are not a regular young man. You have an awesome destiny to fulfill. 
Is that it? Please tell me that's it, because I, I didn't mean for this to happen. The journey from this point, apparently it's not over, will be long, and it will be more difficult than anything you have undergone to this point. Correct? Yet, I know you will be alright. When good battles evil, which side do you believe wins? Do you have faith that good is triumphant? Yes, I do. Also, remember that this entire monologue happened by Ness drinking coffee, so I'm assuming this is the first time he's ever drank coffee and he's discovering the kaleidoscope of happiness that occurs from drinking it. It's a wonderful drink. One thing you must never lose is courage. If you believe in the goal you are striving for, you will be courageous. There are many difficult times ahead, but you must keep your sense of honor. Work through the tough situations and enjoy yourself. Wow, this has like a message and stuff. When you have finished this cup of coffee, your adventure will begin again. Next, you must pass through a vast desert and proceed to the big city of Forside. Man, this <laughs> this is a good outro, even though it's like some minutes early. I don't know, I could end the episode. Actually, you know, it's it's pretty good. Ness, Paula, Jeff. I wish you luck. Luck doesn't exist. Except for the stat. The the stat luck exists, but luck in and of itself, I do not believe exists, because it doesn't. Is that it? Are you done? Because if you talk again, it's kind of like your goodbyes are anticlimactic. Is that it? Yes, it is! Yay! You guys saw the secret! And we can go into this spring. And everything will turn white and pretty. La uh, longer ladder can go to hot springs. It's getting lighter. You got in and washed all, uh, washed all of the extremely dirty gunk off your body. Neat. <laughs> I'm clean again. Appreciate. I so happy, happy, happy. Zoom. All home. Zoom. And oh, I, I was gonna talk to you, but I remember you're the you're the coffee man. You don't. I don't not talking to you ever again. So that will be it for this episode. A little bit short, uh, but that's fine. I don't mind too much. And next time in Pal Place Earthbound. Once again, I know it was a short episode, but I can't in my right mind do anything. Actually, you know what? Who are you? Appreciate. Okay, you're you're nobody. Actually, let me let me read that again. Appreciate! There, I had fun with a voice. So, my, my voice code has been filled. But I should try to have more fun with voices in the future. Next time, in Earthbound, we'll be going through this cave. Because it leads to a hole, Milky Way. Milky, Milky Well. Uh, what this? Ding! Ding! So, we'll be going to the Milky Well. Which, spoilers, is another Your Sanctuary location. Which we haven't seen in, a, in quite a long time. The last one we got was in Happy, Happy Village, if I recall. So we're long due to get a new Your Sanctuary location. And, like I said, the game's moving much faster now. So things are just going to be flying along, and pretty soon we're going to be in Foreside. Uh, and he... <laughs> oh, another opportunity. <clears throat> get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Remember kids, don't forget Foxy's Groceries. I'm just going to end the episode. I release new episodes of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes, and... If you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. Very long outro, considering that that whole coffee thing was meant to be part of my outro, but it was early. See you guys next time. Paladin out. Thank you.